Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Before I begin, please hit the thumbs up button down below to show your support. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website, it is narcsurvivor.co.uk. Narcissists are the definition of nothingness. They are the definition of nothingness. There's nothing there. There's nothing inside of them. They are the absence and the cessation of life at existence. They're completely worthless, insignificant, unimportant, pointless, and useless. They're non-existent, non-being, non-life, blankness, a void. They are a force that impedes any form of existence. They're a lack of being, an omission, a black hole, a vacuum, an empty world, where you will experience the state of no longer being seen, heard, or felt because there's just nothing there. And even when it may seem like there is something there, it exists only in your imagination. It has no basis in reality because they are the void of empty space. They view themselves as operating independently with no outside influences and with nothing affecting them as though they don't affect anything else regardless of their actions even though they do everything in their power to affect the world around them, which results in them becoming very controlling. They don't believe that their actions impact the world around them, and that is why they're so controlling, because they feel powerless and helpless. So they're unable to understand that their actions influence how people see and react to them. They believe that their thoughts, feelings, actions, behaviors, choices, and decisions are caused by and controlled by other people and they believe that it's the same process for you which is why they try very hard to influence you and it's why they believe that you're constantly being influenced against them by outside forces or that you're influencing outside forces against them but they don't see that their actions affect other people even though they're constantly claiming that other people's actions affect them because they feel powerless, so they're constantly seeking power, and they see you as having the power to affect them, which is why they try to control you, because they want you to affect the world on their behalf for their benefit and support, because they don't feel effective on their own. If they did, then they would go out and do it themselves. Narcissists are the definition of nothingness, it's not just that they don't want to take responsibility or that they don't care, although that is a part of it. It's that they can't even connect their actions to how people see them or react to them. They don't even have the ability to do that, which is why they will often see it as though you took action against them for no reason. Because not only do they not take their behavior into consideration, they don't acknowledge that it even happened. So if you explain to them that your actions are a consequence to their behavior, it's just going to confuse them because they don't understand that their behavior influences that way people view and react to them. Which is why even if you tell them, they're not going to believe it and they're not going to care because they lack self-awareness, they're disconnected from themselves. So they're unable to form a mental image of how they appear to you because their conscious attention is primarily focused on themselves and their thoughts, needs, desires and emotions. So they're not concerned about how their actions affect the external world. They're unaware of how they come across to you and they lack empathy. So they're unable to understand your perceptions of them. But they will try to come across as intelligent, confident and self-assured. Even though to you it may seem as though they're just causing problems, worry, and even embarrassment, and lacking grace, skill, and ease in their performance, to where it may make them look less than ideal, but they won't recognize that until you point it out to them, because they lack self-awareness. So they don't know or even care about how their behavior affects other people, and even if they did, it wouldn't make much difference, 
because they have an inability to even see it in the first place. So they're just mindlessly doing things without an intention or objective. And because they lack self-awareness and they're disconnected from themselves, they don't believe that there should be any consequences for their actions because they may not even understand that their actions create the consequences, even though sometimes they may say that they do. They can't grasp the concept of cause and effect. They don't understand that there is a direct relationship between an action or event and its consequences and results. So they don't believe that they should have to do anything that they don't want to do or anything that makes them uncomfortable, which is exactly what consequences are. And they can't deal with any form of criticism because it triggers their shame. So they will immediately deflect the shame onto you because it's too painful for them to deal with. And the discomfort they feel will take precedence over anything they may have done to you. But they're not feeling discomfort because they hurt you. They're feeling shamed because they feel exposed, because they've done something people might disapprove of, or something that might cause people to view them in a negative way, because they experience themselves through the perceptions of other people. So if a person has a negative perception of them, their experience of themselves through that person will be negative, and then they will feel angry or upset, and they will blame the other person, because they see us as a reflection of themselves. And because they don't have any separate, independent perceptions or experiences of themselves, they can only deal with these things externally by influencing our perceptions of them or by forcing us to see what they want to see. But even then, it's not even about what we see because we're just mirrors reflecting back to them what they want to see. It actually has nothing to do with what we see. We're not important at all. What is important is what they see through our perceptions of them because they're only concerned about themselves. Their conscious attention is directed on themselves and their thoughts, needs, desires and emotions. You don't even cross their mind as a separate person. They only see themselves. So even when they're doing hurtful things to you with the intention of affecting you, it's still all about them. It's so that they can experience feelings of reaction to what they're doing to you. But sometimes they do things because they don't even see how it will affect you. Because they're only focused on the feeling it will give them. So they have no capacity to even consider anyone else. Which means that it really has nothing to do with it being intentional or unintentional. Because in their minds they are the only thing that exists. Which makes them very dangerous because they're completely absorbed in themselves and all of their thoughts and actions are based on regulating themselves through other people because their daily life experiences are too difficult and painful for them to deal with. But just because they did something to you, it doesn't mean it was personal or that it had anything to do with you because the truth is they don't even see you. They're not even aware of your separate existence. So you are nothing more than a tool which they use to make themselves feel better because they can only see themselves, which means that they can only consider themselves because they can't see anything else. And there is nothing you can do to help or change them because no matter what, they will continue to work against you and they will continue to work against themselves. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit subscribe to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon.